Oy vey. Mm. All right, here we are today, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patty's Day, and we're gonna be making coal can, coal can, coal can, coal can, coal can, coal can. Coal can. Yeah, uh, super simple. It's just mashed potatoes with some vegetables chopped in and some butter to make it nice and creamy. Some milk too, also to contribute to that creaminess. But normally you would peel the potatoes, but I kind of prefer it with that texture of the skin. So I'm gonna leave them on. And we're gonna be using red potatoes today. It's time to wash the potatoes. Okay, potatoes have been washed. So now we're gonna boil them to make them nice and tender. Here's our pot, potatoes in. Two tablespoons of salt. To the stove. All right, the water line should be about an inch above the potatoes. So, gonna bring that to a boil. While that's boiling, we're gonna wait for it to get to about fork tender, fork tender. It should take probably like 15 to 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, we're going to cut and chop our greens here with our wonderful knives. Here's our green onions. We need about half a cup. That smells so good. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. Okay, so we got our half a cup ready to go in later. Now let's cut up our cabbage. My cabbages. I've never cut a cabbage before, but I've played Cooking Mama, and I know you kind of like peel these back. Yeah? Oh yeah, there it goes. It's layers. There's layers to this. We're peeling it. Should be enough. Whew. About one and a half lightly packed cups. This is too much. Lightly packed. We can always keep the excess. So, the potatoes are pretty tender now. I just stabbed it with a fork and it got sliced in half. So, we're gonna drain it. Ooh, that's hot. Got him. That's Clutch City, baby. All right, so now we're gonna cook the greens. Put the pot back on the stove, medium high heat. Our four tablespoons of butter, we're gonna put that in and melt it. Okay, now that the butter is melted, we're gonna add in our greens, our cabbage, our green onions. We're gonna cook this for like three to four minutes until they're wilted. Oh, it smells good. So while those greens are cooking, let's turn our potatoes into mashable chunks. Oh yeah, these are hot. Perfection. Now we're gonna add in our cup of milk. There we go. We're gonna mix potatoes and lower it to medium heat. Time to mash. We got our potato masher. Time to put my elbow grease into this. Pretty solid. There we go. Our bowl. Now let's salt it to taste. Needs a little bit more salt. A little bit more salty perfection. Put that right in the bowl, spread it out a bit, and we finish it off by making a nice little section to place our butter, another dollop of butter, right in the center. Let it melt. Oh yeah. Ah, 
That was super easy. Didn't even take an hour. Now we've got our butter melted in here. Let's try some without the butter. A slice of this Irish soda bread. Now I'm ready. Oh my goodness. This is like creamy potato perfection. That is delicious. And the soda bread, mmm. I've never had soda bread before. It's kind of like a hint of sweet. The texture is like when you eat dough, but not in a bad way, not like it's uncooked, but like that kind of soft, really uh, moist texture. Wow, this is great. These mashed potatoes though, these are incredible. Holy cow. Mm, I've never had mashed potatoes this good. The Irish know what they're doing. Mashed potato on soda bread. Perfect balance of sweet and savory. This was a super simple recipe. Literally took less than an hour. It was literally like four or five ingredients. I'm not a chef, but that is freaking good. Cold canon. Oh yeah, that is. Mm, mm. Wow, that was great. That is delicious. I wanna eat that whole bowl right now. The Irish, they know their potatoes. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. This has been an episode of Vander Cooks, and I'll see you next time.